Hi everyone, Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors and today I'm going to show you how to paint these French infantry step by step. What you're going to see now is you're going to see a list of all the paints that I've used throughout this tutorial. You can use your own paints on the colour conversion chart found in the description box below. So the first colour we're going to be using is the Ultramarines Blue from Citadel's Contrast range and this is going to be used to paint the jackets. Just bear in mind on the front of some of these miniatures just underneath uh, where the arms are you've got to get in there and paint some blue as well because there is a little bit of the jacket exposed there too. And the next colour we're going to be using is Black Templar from Citadel's Contrast range. And for this we're going to be painting the Shakos, the boots, the cartridge pouch holder on the back of the model and also the bayonet sort of scabbard down the side. Some of the models do have these on and some don't. And the next paint I'm going to be using is Tan Flesh from the Army Painter and we're going to be going over the faces and the hands on the miniature. And the next colour I'm going to be using is Gore Grunt of Fur. Again, this is from the Citadel Contrast range. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting the backpacks with this. And the next colour I'm going to be using is Wildwood from GW's Contrast range again. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting the muskets. I'm going to be painting the whole body of the musket. This includes the metallic barrel because we're going to go over that with Lead Belcher later. And the next colour I'm going to be using is Agros Dunes. I'm going to be picking out some of the hairs and I'm also going to be picking out some of the bed rolls as well on the miniature. And the next colour I'm going to be using is Snakebite Leather. Again, this is from GW's Contrast range. And I'm going to be picking out the rest of the hair and also some of the trousers just to add that little bit of extra detail as this is going to be for the 2nd Battalion.
And the next color I'm going to be using is Darko Flesh. It's going to be used like a glaze slash wash, and this is going to be to go over all the flesh parts of the miniature. So the next color I'm going to be using is Alien Purple and the reason I'm using this is because I am representing the fourth company of this particular regiment in the French military. So first company would have green, then second would have blue, third would have orange and then fourth would have purple. And as this stand is going to be fourth company and it makes sense to do it in purple. But remember, if you're doing different companies, they can be different colors. The next color I'm going to be using is Lead Belcher from Citadel and we are going to paint all the metallic parts that are on the musket. So we're going to be painting the bayonet as well as the barrel. And what we're going to do is make sure you get the back of the barrel as well because there's a tiny bit above the actual stock of the musket. And the next color I'm going to be using is Retributor Armor Gold from Citadel's range. Uh, this is a metallic paint and I'm going to be painting the gold plates on top of the Shakos. I'm not going to be doing any of the buttons yet, I'll be doing that later to finish off. And now to blend it all in, I'm going to use a 50-50 wash of Quick Shade Mixing Medium from the Army Painter as well as Strong Tone. Try and be light on this as we have done a Xenophore highlight to start with, so it does give you natural highlights already. But yep, a 50-50 wash of this, let that dry for a good hour, hour and a half, and then we'll come back and do some highlighting. Okay, now it's time to highlight the jackets. I'm going to be using Calador Sky from uh, Games Workshop. But just remember that you can use any sort of light blue here, whatever you pick and choose as a fancy. Remember, not all shades of blue were the same in the French army. You were getting coats issued, you know, in the bottom of France, all over the places, uh, north of France, you know, Spain, they've been everywhere. So just remember different colors from different manufacturers at the time. Okay, now I'm going to use matte white to paint all the white parts on the miniature. This includes all the belts and straps, and it also includes the trousers. Don't forget as well the weapon strap on the back of the musket. This again is where you need to try and be as neat as you can. Don't panic too much because you can neaten up later.
So now I'm going to paint the epaulets and the collars. Mine, I'm going to be using the Fist and Red from Games Workshop. The regimen that you're doing might be different, so please check your resource material. Um, it could be yellow, it could be green, it could be many different colors, it could even be pink. So please make sure you double check it before doing this next part. Remember, links down below for you to be able to check your resource material. And the next color we're going to be using is Barbarian Flesh, and this is just to highlight all the flesh areas on the model. And now we're going to use lead belcher and we're just going to highlight all the metallic parts on the musket so the front of the bayonet some of the back and we are also going to do the straps across the musket barrel itself Okay, one more thing, if you guys really want to do it, you could give a quick dry brush very lightly of deck tan. Um, I'm gonna do it with these miniatures afterwards, but I'm doing them in batch. But guys, this is the end result. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this and uh, I think they look absolutely fantastic. And it's been great having you along with this. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Really, really does help. And tell me what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, check out my other painting tutorial for the Epic Napoleonic range. I've done it in great coats as well. I'll be doing many, many more videos to do with this and the next lot shall be something to do with the cavalry. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon and bye-bye for now.